This is the key to quiz nine. Find and classify all stationary points using the second partials test. Okay, so the first order of business is uh, to find the stationary points. Okay, so the stationary points, that's where the first partials are both zero. So the x partial is 3x squared minus 2y and the y partial is negative 2x plus 2y. Now we want both of these partials to be 0 at the same time. So that's 3x squared minus 2y is 0 and negative 2x plus 2y is uh, 0. <coughs> so I'll number these equations. Equation 1 and 2. So from equation two, from equation two, you can see that two uh, y is two x, so that y is x, and then if we put that into one. changing all the y's to x's, we get 3x squared minus 2x is 0. Factor out an x, so that would be 3x minus 2 multiplied by x is 0, so that x is 2 thirds, or <coughs> x is 0, and then we can carry this down. To determine that that implies that y is 2 thirds or y is 0. So the stationary points are 0, 0, and two-thirds, two-thirds. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's classify the stationary points. <clears throat> so <clears throat> to classify, we'll need the second partials, so I'll compute the second partials now xx that is 6x uh, yy that is 2 xy That's the y partial of the x partial. That is negative 2. And as a check, I'll compute the other one, yx. That is the x partial of the y partial. So that's negative 2. So those, the mixed partials are in agreement. So I notice that. And I think, good. Probably did something right. <coughs> So now to classify, classify uh, the point zero, zero. So 
So the point zero zero, the classifier there is, so the xx partial evaluated at zero is zero, the yy partial evaluated at zero is two, minus the xy partial evaluated at zero is negative two, and then that squared. So that's zero minus four. So that's negative. And that tells us that zero, zero is a saddle point. saddle point. Now let's classify two three two three uh, two thirds two thirds. Well the classifier there so the xx partial at two thirds six times two thirds is 12 over 3 which is 4. The yy partial at 2 thirds, 2 thirds is 2 minus. Now negative 2 squared, that is 8 minus 4. So that's positive. So that tells us <coughs> the fact that this is positive means that it's one of these. It's either a min, or sorry, either a max or a min. So it's either this kind or this kind. And the way that you distinguish between them is now you check one of the unmixed partials. So, for example, the xx partial at two thirds, two thirds. Uh, we said was 4, which is positive, and therefore the conclusion is that this is a min, local min. Okay, that's the answer to number 1. <coughs> Number two, maximize that expression subject to that equation using the method of Lagrange multipliers. Clearly indicate those things. Okay, so then the objective is little f equal to this thing, so 2x plus 3y minus x squared minus y squared. The constraint little g is this equation when you make one side 0. So x plus 2y minus 9. So this is the function g and notice that when function g is 0, then that gives the same equation. So then the Lagrange function I'll call it L. It will be a function of three variables now. So it's a function of x and y, because those are the variables that we're dealing with in the exercise, and also lambda, because that's the name that we'll use for the multiplier. That is the objective. Minus a multiple of the constraint. So lambda x plus 2y minus 9. <coughs> So now, the method of Lagrange multiplier says that the optimal points, if any, must be critical points of the Lagrange function. 
So let's find the uh, stationary points. of the Lagrange function. <clears throat> okay, so then the x partial that would be 2 minus 2x two 2 minus 2x two minus lambda the y partial that would be 3 minus 2y minus 2 lambda and then the lambda partial is negative x plus 2y minus 9 So those are the partials. <clears throat> now we want to find the stationary points, which is to say when all three of these are zero at the same time. So we need 2 minus 2x minus lambda to be zero. We need 3 minus 2y minus 2 lambda to be 0, and we need this to be 0, so I'll just drop the negative and write x plus 2y minus 9 is 0. So I'll number these equations. <coughs> So now, from equation 1, uh, it's clear that lambda is 2 minus 2x. And if we put that into equation 2, <clears throat> that's saying that 3 minus 2y minus 2 multiplied by 2 minus 2x is 0. So now this can be simplified a little bit. So 3 minus 2y minus 4 uh, plus 4x is 0. <coughs> so now this, this equation in, involves only x's and y's. So I'll solve for y. <coughs> uh, that would give negative... 1 plus 4x is 2y. So negative half plus 2x is y. <coughs> now if we put that equation into equation 3, get uh, what get x plus 2 and then negative half plus 2x <coughs> uh, minus 9 is equal to 0 so that's x uh, minus 1 
plus uh, 4x. Minus 9 is equal to 0. So we have 1 plus 4x's, that's 5x's, and then negative 1 minus 9 is negative 10. So that's saying that 5x is 10, so x is 2. And then now substituting that back into um, here, say. That can let us determine y. Uh, so that would be uh, negative half plus 2 times 2 is 4. So that's 4 minus a half, so that's 3 and a half. <clears throat> so the conclusion. Now in this class, uh, since the question says maximize this function, and in this class we don't go over how to confirm or deny whether or not a specific stationary point is a maximizer or a minimizer uh, in the method of Lagrange multipliers, because we found exactly one stationary point, it must be the case that this stationary point is the maximizer. So the conclusion is that xy equal to 2, 3 and a half is the maximizer. So it's the maximizer. And then with value, and now let's plug that in. <coughs> So plug it into F, so 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3 and a half minus 2 squared minus 3 and a half squared is negative 1.75. And that's the answer.